Hey, I'm Markia. Want to something scary? Never respond. The phases of the moon are looked at as signs of renewal and transformations. We know that in the full moon, we should beware the werewolf bite. But did you know in some places when the moon goes dark, wandering entities hunt living vessels. They're looking for a final resting place and they will get there by any means necessary. There's an old Bengali folktale that offers a warning for those traveling at night on a dark moon. If you suddenly hear someone call your name from the darkness, never respond, for the night spirits roam ready to prey on the living. Even in the city, the legend of the Nishi still had a presence, an odd warning that Elena's superstitious parents had instilled in her since childhood. Nishis were night spirits of the dead, they didn't get proper burial rituals to pass onto the next plane. So they remained trapped in our world to hunt the living at night as passage out of this realm by the death of another. Embodied as a night shadow, they mimic the voices of loved ones to lure the unsuspecting during the dark moon, but they'd only take one victim. On those nights, parents cautioned their children to not pass through certain areas. These warnings were very far from Elena's mind on the evening she met up with her friend Kamala. They were attending another friend's party. Since neither of them were old enough to drive, they had to ride their bicycles. Though they usually didn't ride their bikes at dusk, they figured sticking to main downtown roads would be safe. But Kamala showed up late. She suggested they take a shortcut through Dhaka Airport Road. Elena's bike tires screeched. No way. She protested, looking up at the moonless sky. What about the disappearances? Sighing, Kamala said, there's always someone saying, beware the Nishi on Dhaka Airport Road. Haven't you seen the videos that say it's a hoax? It's just our parents trying to scare us, like their parents scared them from biking at night. Begrudgingly, Elena agreed, as she knew it would shave off 30 minutes. They cut through the bustling traffic to the grimy side street. Elena felt something was off as soon as they entered the industrial alleyway. They'd been down it dozens of times before during the day, but it took an eerie life at night. She kept having the feeling that someone was watching them. As they pedaled through, the whistle of wind from biking gradually got clearer and clearer, as if the sound was whispering to her. Elena, over and over. Do you hear that? Kamala asked, biking beside her. I do, and we gotta get out of here. Elena responded as a murmur started to sound like her mother's voice. Quickly, she began to accelerate, clamping her teeth together as she rode and forcing herself not to answer. She began to recall her parents' warnings about the Nishi. Never respond. Under any circumstances, never respond. Suddenly, Kamala shouted for her mother. No, Kamala, it's not her. Elena shouted, squinting to try and catch a glimpse of her friend who was right beside her. She immediately knew the Nishi was on their tail. Kamala quickly turned her head back, slowing down with a gasp and jumped off her bike out of Elena's view. The sound of Kamala's empty bicycle crashing against metal grates in the alley. Fear shot through Elena. The Nishi had grabbed her friend. From the corner of her eye, she thought she saw a darkness leech onto Kamala, dragging her behind the trash container. Horrified, she lost control of her bike and spun out, thrown to the ground, hitting her head. Elena, are you okay? Kamala's muffled voice drifted in through the ringing in her ears. I'm so sorry, I thought it would be funny to prank you. Groaning, Elena touched her head. There was blood slowly opening her eyes to see her mother's hand reaching out to help her up. Mom? Elena asked, confused. Elena, take my hand, her mother's voice beckoned. As she reached out, darkness whipped around Elena's hand like vines, and she looked up to see her mother's face morph into a grotesque entity that pulled her close, squeezing the life out of her. Elena struggled, losing consciousness. From the corner of her eye, she saw Kamala peeking out from behind the trash container, covering her mouth, a look of horror in her eyes. Elena struggled to speak her final words, reminding her friend, never respond. <laughs>